Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics. Today I'm going to be cleaning out this little nano reef tank. Come join me. Today I'm going to be cleaning off the glass and doing a slight vacuum, hovering over the sand. I'm also going to be doing a water change. I was only doing a water change every other week, but one of my friends from the Aquarium Society suggested I do a water change every week, about 5 to 10%. So I'm gonna give it a try because I get a lot of algae in this tank and I'm not sure why. I'm also gonna be cleaning out the back filtration unit. This is gonna get dirty. Okay, first thing what I did is I unplugged everything but the light. I need the light in this area. There's no other light for the house for me to use. When I hover over the sand and do a little bit of a water change, I'm going to use the tank water so I can clean up the filtration in the back. I'm sure there's an easier way and somebody will tell me. I just have not been able to get it right. So I haven't been burned yet, so. I have to see where my sea hair is. He's in there doing a job. I don't want to disrupt him either. So when I do water top offs, I just add RODI water because all the minerals and salt and all the levels stay behind. It's just the water that evaporated. But when I do a water change, I'm going to mix the RODI water with my salt and get the salinity to where it should be. There you go. I think one of the biggest problems it's had, it's next to this sliding glass door. But even though the shade is closed, it was still a tremendous amount of light coming through. So what I ended up doing is wrapping it around with a, a backing. It didn't have that before. It had a three-way view and I covered up the backing. And I think that did help quite a lot. Thanks, Mark, for that suggestion. Skimmer. Filter that fell out of the skimmer. I don't even know how long ago. I don't think I've ever pulled everything out of the back like that. And I'm not so worried about pulling all the filtration out like I would be with my fresh water because this is live rock. This has a lot of beneficial bacteria. The sand has a lot of beneficial bacteria. I'm gonna let it settle down a little bit and then we'll take a look and see how good it came out. like about an hour later absolutely worth it to me thanks for watching see you next time